Hey everybody! Thanks for joining me. I'm just uh, on the Google homepage here, but it looks a little different. What's this? Beta? Copyright 1999? What's, what's going on? Oh, this is the Google homepage from 1999 when it was in beta. Uh, today we're just going to be taking a look at some old web pages from around the turn of the millennium. And for those of you old enough to remember such days, this will be kind of a nostalgic walk down memory lane. And for the rest of you, uh, you'll get to see what web pages were like back in the ye olden days of the internet. So, uh, let's get to it. And we'll just use Google here. No, we won't use Google. We will be accomplishing this with some help of our friends at the Wayback Machine. What do you say we take a look at Wikipedia? when it for it was first founded. Let's uh, pick an archive date here. The earliest one they seem to have is March 31st. So this is Wikipedia from March 31st, 2001. And, uh, oh my, they already have over 3,000 pages. Wow, that's, that's really something. Good on you, Wikipedia. I'm really impressed. Um, indeed, a lot of these... Sections don't even have articles yet. Um, Renaissance classicism. Look at this. Let's look at this. Wow, this is a, this is really really detailed. Fantastic work. Well, it's certainly come a long way, hasn't it? Why don't we take a look at uh, everyone's favorite place to buy everything? Amazon.com. So this is Amazon.com on October thirteenth, nineteen ninety nine. And we can look around. And why don't we uh, take a look at the various toys and games they're selling. Pass the Pigs? I remember that game. An Extreme Bobbit. That's right, in the 90s everything had to be extreme. Wasn't it? Yes. We've got the Pokemon... Ah, oh, the original Pokemon card game. Starter Pack in Japanese. Japanese cards were always supposed to be worth more than... American cards, but, um, you know, I still have a shit ton of those, because that market is making a comeback someday, trust me. Probably not, I don't know. Alright, uh, why don't we skip on over to the, um, DVD and video section here. Take a look at some of the DVDs they had on sale. The number one selling movie in 1999 was The Mummy on VHS. Kind of forgot the DVDs didn't really until kind of the early to, to mid 2000s. Um, good bit of time there, even in the um, late 90s, early 2000s, where DVDs were still outselling. Uh, I'm sorry, VHSs were still outselling DVDs. Ever after a Cinderella story for 16.99, that is about. $16.98 too much. So let's take a look at some of the books being sold in uh, 1999. Back when still, back when people still read uh, paper books. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, I think I read that in, uh, right about in 1999. Might have been, actually, actually it might have been 2000 when I first read that book, but let's take a look at some reader reviews. Uh, read this book! I cannot stress this enough! Bye! Look, alright, I'll read it. Fuck. My favorite character was Harry because he was fun and exciting. I twatily loved this one, so I expect ill like the other ones. Well, if that one all went together so well, I especially liked it because the characters were so... real. It was so cool, I cannot wait to get the other ones. <clears throat> well, uh... Well, it's good to see that horrible spelling and grammar have been an internet tradition for at least the past 15 years. Why don't we take a look at the reviews for The Matrix? I think you should go and see it. It is the best I'm looking for. Part 2. Home entertainment that's best without a doubt. The best sci-fi film of a decade. Huh. Can't wait for the sequel. Uh, I really wish for a sequel. Um, wow, some of these people were probably pretty disappointed. Great, but hate the widescreen. Wait a minute, hold on. 
She watches, so that, does that imply she watches, she hates widescreen, so does she watch all her movies in full screen? Why would you do that? That, that totally warps the look of the entire film. Why would you? All right. Moving on. Take a look at Live Journal from uh, 2000. It says Live Journal from December 16th, 2000. Do you guys remember Live Journal? Every, I think everyone just. Do people still use that anymore? Is that a, still a thing? I, everyone just uses Tumblr now, right? So why don't we read some blogs from right before the millennium started? From December 3rd, 2000. Ah, kitty cereal. I'm completely addicted to the stuff. Yesterday I had a big bowl of cocoa pebbles for, um, ah, uh, the cereal blog. How exciting! Yeah, I, I was really missing out during this time period. Not reading these journals. Yeah, I totally forgot that this is, this is how people had to interface back in these days. Anyway. If you want to spend time reading about the lives of strangers from around the turn of the millennium, uh, you go right ahead. Me, I'm moving on to other stuff. Well, uh, let's check out Nintendo.com on February 29th, 2000. This is... Oh my... Yes, uh, the site certainly looks better nowadays. Um, <clears throat> see, get in or get out. I forgot they used to use that tagline. Um, Nintendo Entertainment. Let's take a look at some Pokemon fan art, why don't we? Uh, hmm. What's that Pokemon? Sure, there's a lot of fan art of him. Well, it's the same, too. Oh, crap. It's Darth Maul Pikachu. That's... a little disturbing. Uh, I've got some box art challenges. Ugh. Goodness. Well, like one of those magic eye things. All right, let's check out Pokemon.com on November 29th, 1999. Well, despite it reading Saturday, November 20, uh, November 15th, 2014, um, I can assure you that this is in fact the archive page from 1999. Now, looks like they've got, um. Burger King Trading Nights. Is the trading event sponsored by Burger King? Did this happen? I remember that they gave away like these gold kind of collectors, gold plated collectors cards, uh, around the time of the first movie. But I, I don't remember that. Uh... Oh yeah, here here we go. Yeah, I guess I didn't remember the actual trading aspect of it. Weird. I remember those. And gold-plated was right. I think they were, it was just like a solid brick of, of like some cheap metal like plated in the thinnest layer of gold ever that would flake off after you owned it for about like a month. We've got sheet music for uh, the Pokemon theme on piano. That's real cool. And recorder fun. As if it's... I didn't even know it was possible to have fun with a recorder. Um, Pokemon Candy. Don't be fooled by fakes. Uh, hints on identifying bogus Pokemon goods. Pokemon rolls. Lord. Man, I forgot how much merchandise they had even back then. Man, the brand's been going strong for like 16 years. At least 16 years. I mean, how long has it been? 
what the heck is Pokemon? <laughs> I like I like that they have like a general question like that in the Pokemon fan site. As if someone just kind of stumbled their way here without knowing what this was all about. Well, it's just been incredibly confusing. All right, so here's Garfield.com on November 5th, 1999. So, uh, if we take a glance up at the sidebar here, we'll see, what's this, Gmail service? Uh, hmm. well, obviously the link doesn't work, but, yeah, um, no, uh, Gmail was, in fact, a, until Google bought it, a trademark of Garfield.com, so, there's an interesting bit of internet history for you. Uh, impress your friends with how little of a life you have. Um, so, if we go ahead and go to fun and games, uh, you can play some games. Well, probably not, because I'm guessing none of them are like, actually load. But, you know, there's actually something kind of charming about those, those early, or I guess those late 90s, early 2000s Flash games. All really simple, and I don't know, they're just kind of charming. But holy shit, they have screensavers. Oh man, I gotta get me some of these. I bet these are like internet collectibles by now. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, comics, Garfield and, Garfield and Friends? Oh yeah, the TV show. Yeah, I, I seem to remember this being substantially better than the, um, uh, than the comic was a lot of the time. Yeah, if I remember correctly, it, it was actually pretty funny. Huh. Well, moving on. <clears throat> right, okay, so... Um, right, okay, so here's the thing about the old days of the internet is that you, nowadays there's all these memes archived at places like YouTube and you can s just send someone a video of some stupid thing, but back in the early days of the internet you had to create like a whole site for some stupid thing. And that is what people did with arguably one of the most infamous examples, uh, the hamster dance. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, what can I say? This is it, this is it. You know, this is, this is the entire web page. Yes, this is what counted for entertainment back then. It's really incredible, isn't it? We've come so far. Alright, that is, that is quite enough of that. But yeah, I, I mean, you know, the, the fact that, that you had little rotating animated GIFs was so incredible. You know, it's, fu it's funny that this is what I think used to think of when I heard the term GIF, and now all I think of is, like, Tumblr. Well, whatever. Now, speaking of bad gifts and creating um, entire sites for some stupid thing, nowhere did that better than GeoCities, your own private hosting website, where there was always some bunch of gifts over a really kind of crappily, eye-gougingly awful website design. Uh, for example, this page. Yeah, look at that web design. It's really fantastic, just amazing. Pitch perfect design. And there were a lot of other sites too, like uh this this blog, Computer Thoughts. Yes, so this is Computer Thoughts, a blog apparently best viewed with Internet Explorer three point oh or later. Yeah, fat chance. Um And, uh, apparently appears to be a humor blog de dedicated to that strange new thing called the World Wide Web. So, uh, 
Let me take a look here. Some images to laugh at. Oh, okay, I'm always a pretty good image to laugh. Um, riotous. Hilarious. Yes. Um, uh, yes, this is... <laughs> That's what passed for humor back then. Computer science. A computer scientist is someone who fixes things that aren't broken. Computer scientists do it bite by bite. The goal of computer science is to build something that will last until we've finished building it. This is humor? Get paid to surf the web. It's simple. Just go to the following websites and sign up. You will get paid to surf the web. Sign up on the following websites. Download the view bar. Open the view bar when you are surfing on the web. Yes, well... Scam suckering, scam suckering and gullible people on the internet are clearly nothing new. You know, something else interesting. Um... Yeah, people just design their own personal pages and sort of have their own personal blogs and, and such with the GeoCities. That was also another very common thing. I think the reason social networking sites like Facebook uh, I've done so well is that they've taken that concept of having your own kind of little corner of the internet and made it work in a much, much simpler, more intuitive fashion. And just appeal to that narcissistic sort of edge in all of us. So that's nice. Here's another perfect example of what GeoCities was all about. Dragon Ball web pages. There was always something dedicated to uh, DBZ. In some fashion, uh, Sailor Moon as well. The amount of, the amount of GeoCity sites dedicated to either Dragon Ball or Sailor Moon could fill a video that lasts the rest of my life. But moving on, enough GeoCities. Let's go to one of the best sites to ever exist. Oh yeah, Zombocom, baby. This is Zombocom. Welcome. This is Zombocom. Welcome to Zombocom. You can do it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess me, I don't know. Um, you know, this was really just a, a parody of the, the types of sites that would have this crazy long loading animation because you know back in the days of dial-up you had to sit usually had to sit through some loading sequence and while well, well the site <laughs> well, all of the site proclaimed how great it was so yeah Zombogob still one of the best sites around now here's another site from Around the millennium, that proves that things haven't changed that much. Internet Explorer is evil. Uh, yes. Um, this is really just... I mean, this is really just a site proclaiming how evil Internet Explorer is and all the problems with it. I, you know, I feel like, like they may have gone a little overboard. But yes, IE did and does suck. And people haven't been telling them that for... <laughs> over a decade, and we're just now getting around to doing something about it. Speaking of evil, how about we check out the promotional site for the movie The Wild Wild West? Oh. I see. Yes. Pops up some crappy pop-up. Um. Oh, man. See, we can look at the film... At pictures, holy shit, moving pictures. Black magic. Illusions, free goods. Free homepage. Oh, wow, we can listen to the soundtrack. They have message boards? Are those still up? No, they're not. Of course they're not. I'm amazed they even existed ever. But yeah, I mean, you can go to the site and get yourself some nice wallpapers or screensavers or some shit in case you just really hate yourself for some reason and decide you haven't tortured yourself enough. 
In a similar vein, still up is the website for the... Oh, shit. It's, it's doing something. Oh, it's a Flash intro. Oh, man, Flash. Ah, oh, you're so outdated. Well, yes. Still up is the website for the Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan movie, You've Got Mail. And, watch, similar to the Wild Wild West site, uh, they've got, they've got chat and BBS, which is no longer up. And for, for God knows why, you can still, you can still listen to the movie's soundtrack and, and download uh, icons for your mouse, presumably. Who cares? And now, my friends, we journey into much darker and stranger territory. With... Oh, oh God. Uh, the site... Amanda, please. Oh. oh, God, no, just stop! Ah! Ugh! Yes! Yes, the web... Uh, no, stop. Okay. Yes, the website is still up as of me recording this video. And... It is a very strange, surreal experience that must be had to be believed. Uh, you can still check out Amanda Bynes through her crazy stalker herself. Yeah. Not even getting... whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Let's not spend too long here. Okay, let's wash the taste out of our mouth with something more interesting. How about the Claire Danes fan page? Yes, ClaireDanes.com is still up. And, uh, it's, it's active, and apparently you can download stuff. And you can take a look at her television appearances, along with, uh, say, when she appeared on... A lot of shows. Oh, check it out. She was on the John Stewart show. I mean, I mean, not not even the Daily Show, the John Stewart show. And there we go. Someone someone transcribed the entire thing, her entire interview. And uh, we can look at some lovely photos of her. As long as like you you couldn't just run a Google image search or something. And uh, we can see what film she's been in. Yeah. Yeah. This is good stuff. Hey, I love that movie. Alright. Okay. Alright. Just one more here. Sporks.org This is a website entirely dedicated to sporks. Look, they've got sporks from around the world and Sporks that aren't sporks, and and they even cover the epic sporks versus foon debate. So yeah, you know, this is a prime example of the internet in the early days. This is exactly what the world needed to know on in, on September tenth, nineteen ninety six. Go check it, check the site out, give it your respect, and respect all things sporks. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for watching this somewhat <laughs> disjointed jaunt down memory lane. Internet memory lane. Let me know if there's any old sites you've stumbled upon that, that uh, are, are still up or that you have fond memories of. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.